Hey everyone, Matt here. So today I'm going to be hanging this swarm trap uh, at my home apiary here. I uh, originally got the design from Bill at the B vlog, and it's just uh, two five frame mediums on top of each other. Um, I'll show some pictures there at the side here. Uh, and originally it has just a one by four here that you use to uh, mount it to a tree with a chain. Um, but then on this side, I had to modify it because um, we don't have any big trees here. We're just going to be mounting it off the side of my balcony. And there's a, it's kind of like glass railing, so I needed to put these two 1x4s cut in half so it doesn't squish onto the glass. But it uh, should be exciting. Um, and then for baiting it, I got a, a lot of good uh, information at uh, letemb.com which is Jason Bruns, and he is uh, a leading specialist of swarm trapping. Um, but I, I use his method to, uh, for baiting, and it's just a, a Ziploc bag with paper towel in it, um, and then some LGO, or lemongrass oil. A couple drops in there. I think he said uh, usually around eight, eight to six. Um, and then I also got some secret weapon here, which is, uh, some old queens and some rubbing alcohol here so uh, we'll throw some of that in there but let's uh, let's see where I'm gonna be mounting that I'll show you here okay I'll show you where we're gonna mount it oh we'll look at who Cal Lake beautiful Vernon BC nice So yeah, so right there is where I, I'm going to mount it up here. You can see that that's the glass it kind of hopefully avoid pushing against. But uh, hopefully all goes well. <laughs> okay, we moved a little bit away from the hives before we uh, open this up to bait it. So as you can see inside there, um, got uh, just five frames. Uh, these two wedges here, what they do is they prevent it from the frame shifting side to side so that it, if you get bees in there when you go to move them it doesn't squish any bees. But uh, I just put just five frames in. I don't put any in the bottom, you know, thinking that hey, they, they see it and see a bigger cavity. Um, I do put just one brood frame in, which this one's from a dead out. There's actually still some bees in there but that'll add to the realism of it um, and then these are just my foundationless frames with just the comb guide on them so we'll put them back in there and then we'll put some LGO in there let's get this going here okay let's put the wedges in one, two. There we go, sun's going away. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put... Well, oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, whoa. And then maybe we'll open up this little bit of the wings. Dip this in a little bit. Oh, I can smell it. it smells like lemon pledge. Throw it in there. Let me just close it up to about an inch open. There we go. I just need to screw it shut. I think this is the right way. Yes, sir. Okay, and then just some 
clear silicone to waterproof the screws there. A little dabble of it. Dabber. 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 Okie dokie. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to just hang the strap. Should be just right over the air. Ish. Okay. I think that'll work out good. I think it's a pretty good location. Kind of out of the wind. The wind tends to come up from the lake over there. And then when, uh, if we do catch a swarm, we could watch it from the front window there. Should be pretty exciting. Let's just tighten this up here. There we go. Clips. One more clips. Still good. Good there. Tie this up. Go around the wind. Okay. Bring on the swarms. So that's all there's to it. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you again here soon.